Agree with me. Yes, Mr. Leonard. You're the boss. Awesome. You the man. You the man. Booyah. Okay, so subtracting integers. You know, we know how to subtract basic integers. We can all do things like 12 minus 3. 12 minus 3 gives a... That's right. We almost do it on our fingers, right? Or, well, your fingers and two toes. Take up your shoes. 12 minus whatever to get. We can do that. We can do that sort of thing. What I want you to to look at is this. This is going to be kind of interesting. Check it out. I want you to figure out what that's equal to. Hey, look it. Negative. That has a plus now, right? Plus means you can use addition rules. Does this have the same sign or different signs? Yeah. That mean add or subtract? Subtract. Keep the sign of the large. What are we going to get? Nine. Positive. Positive. Weird. Same thing. Here's what it says. Here's what this says to you, I hope. It says that subtraction is mathematically equivalent. That means the same exact thing as adding the opposite of the original number. Subtraction and adding a negative are the same thing. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Can you see that on the board right now? Subtraction and adding a negative, that's identical. What this says is that we can, we can change any subtraction problem into an addition problem, anything we want. Here's how we do it. What we're going to do is we are going to change change a minus change a minus into Look what we did up here before I write it. I, could, I changed this problem for us. I changed the minus into, it became a plus. Look at it, look at it. It became a plus, not just a plus though. I mean, obviously, I can't do things like this. Look at the board. I can't do, this is the same as this. Are those the same? No. No, one's three, one's 17. That doesn't work. It doesn't just change arbitrarily. It's not like I'm Harry Potter with my math wand. <laughs> change, yeah. No, that doesn't happen. <laughs> but, what it does do is says, if I want to change it to a plus, I can do it. As long as I make this a negative, that's legal. Okay, so I change a minus into plus a negative number. That's what we're going to be doing. That's going to change our minuses into addition rule. That's great. That means we can use those rules we just accomplished. That's fantastic. Don't you like that? Of course, yeah, easier. So in general, whenever we see A minus B, we're not going to leave it as A minus B. What we're going to do is we're going to leave it A. That's fine. We're going to change the minus into a what? A plus. Not just a plus, but we have to have something after that. Negative. Good. A minus becomes a plus negative. Plus. Negative. And it's going to be in parentheses to say that that is my negative value right there. Nod your head if you're still with me on this. You guys in the back? Okay, let's do this. these two together. We'll talk about one more thing and be done for today. Negative 3 minus 10. Negative 3 minus 10. That's how you would read that too, right? Negative 3 minus 10? You would read it minus 3 minus 10? Wherever you say 
Listen, listen carefully, please. Whenever you say or read in your mind or hear the word minus, that's what you're going to change. Are you going to change negatives? No. You can't change negative. You, can, you can't change this negative here. You can change the minus, though. We're not going to change this one. That's not going to do anything. But this minus, we're going to change that one. Do you see the difference? Yeah or no? Yeah. yeah. We're going to change the minus. So it says negative 3 minus 10. We're going to keep the negative 3. That one's not the problem for us. That's fine. What am I going to change the minus to everybody? Plus. Plus minus. Just plus 10? I mean plus minus. Can I do that? Yes. No, just like that. Okay. Uh-uh. No, you have to put a negative. What's wrong with this picture? You have to put a negative in front of the 10. Oh. So I can't just, remember, I'm not Harry, this, you're not Harry Potter. Are you? <laughs> Harry Potter? <laughs> for the real Harry Potter, please stand up. Uh, no, you can't just arbitrarily change a minus to a plus. What you can do is that. You change a minus to a plus negative, negative of that number. That's what you can do. You can't just change minus to plus. Yay! That doesn't work. Okay? You change a minus to plus the negative value. Oh, you understand the difference there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's important that you get it. If not, ask me a question. If you got time, ask a question about that. If you're not quite so sure. That's what we did here, right? Minus didn't just become, these are not equal. Look, not equal, clearly different. Clearly different, right? Clearly different. That does not make sense. This makes sense. Minus can't just change to a plus. Change to a plus and negative. That's what we're doing. Hey, can you do this problem now? Yeah. Negative 3 plus negative 10? Negative 13. Great. Same sign. Add them together. Keep the common sign. We just went over that. So our idea is change minuses and then use the addition rule. Change minuses and then use the addition rule. Let's try this one. We've got 12 minus 17. Is there anything to change up there? Yeah. Yeah, we said minus, right? Yeah, that means we're going to change it. Why are you going to change it? So we can use the addition rules. That's honestly the only reason. We, you learned those addition rules from last time. Now we're going to change minuses into plus negatives so we can accomplish using the addition rule. That's a good question. So another, another time. Another time. What am I going to write next? Am I just going to write this? No, negative 17. Good, good, good. It, does, it is going to become a plus, but you also have to incorporate a negative 17. Okay, that's important for us. We've got to do that. Just by the head nod, are you okay with this so far? Yes, I see some no's, some yeses. Um, yeah. We already talked about that this is true, right? That was true. We did addition rule. So this thing is the same as that thing. It is equivalent. I'm not lying <coughs> to you there. That's the same thing. We can do this every single time we have a minus. Change it to a plus negative. So last question. Five. What's the answer here? Negative five. Good. Subtract. Sounds like your number. I'll leave you with one more thing for today in the last three minutes. Now, I showed you this about two or three classes ago. And I said, we're going to use this in a little while. Here's where we get to use it. I kind of pre previewed this information for you. I said, sometimes you're going to see things that look like this. Do you remember that? Yeah. I said, you do something with that. Even if there's numbers out front and within. This is red. How would you read this? Five minus five. negative six. Five. Did you say the word minus? Five minus negative. You did, right? You're going to change every word you see minus. There's there's two options here. Here, you change your minus to plus negative. That's great. But I also told you about this thing. I said whenever you see a minus and a negative like that, you're going to change that too. Um, Jeff actually had an idea that that lets you kind of remember this. If you take that minus and the negative. What sign could you make out of it if equal. you turn this one? Oh, plus. You can make it plus. Yeah, you can't really make it equal, not yet. <coughs> but if you have two like this, change one of them, you make a plus out of that. Do you make two signs? No, you just make one sign. Okay? I know this is kind of, if this is new for you, this is like, wow, this is a lot to take in. I get it. There's one way we can remember it. 
Here we're taking one sign, our minus, and change it into two. Here we're taking two signs and changing it into one. You're always doing one or the other. You're never changing, listen carefully please. You're never changing one sign into one, a different sign, or two signs into two signs. It's always either going from one to two, or two to one. Do you see that? Look at One to two, two to one. In every case, even if it's just A or B, in every case, if you have minus and negative like that, you're going to change that not into plus and negative, just, just the plus. Two signs become one sign. The reason why that works, it's like you're, if you're subtracting a negative, you're taking away a debt. That's like me giving you money. Imagine this. Okay, imagine this for a second. One second. Let's say you owed someone 10 bucks, okay? So you have like you have like 50 and you owe someone 10 bucks. And I come to you and I say, okay, I'll tell you what, I just paid that person for you. Isn't that like I gave you $10? Yeah. Yeah. I took away your debt, right? Mm -hmm. Look at this is taking away subtraction. Taking away. A negative is like a debt. I just took away your debt, it's like I gave you money. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. That's what it's like. <coughs> this one, subtraction is like you're adding debt. I'm adding a debt. Okay, that's why we can change subtraction to that. I say, okay, uh, you have $100, now you, you owe that person 50. So I added a debt to you. It's just like taking away money. That's how you can think of these two things. We'll practice this later, of course, that's going to be 11. How many of you understood what we talked about today? Good, good for you. So with our two cases for subtraction, the first case we have just minus, the second case we have minus and negative. We will be changing each of these two addition. It depends on which one you have and you gotta do the right one. So on the first case, just our A minus B, what we do is we're gonna change that instead of A minus B, we can't just arbitrarily change it to A plus. That doesn't make any sense. Minus does not mean plus. But what it does mean, subtraction is mathematically the same thing as adding the opposite of your original number. That's true. So A minus B is the same thing mathematically as A plus negative B. Subtracting or adding a negative is the same thing. And I think I gave you the example. It's kind of like adding a debt, all right? Think about it this way. Let's say you had $100 and someone took away 50 bucks. How much are you going to have? 50 bucks. Now let's think about it a different way. You have $100 and you take on a debt. You add a debt of $50. So you go out and you put money in your credit card for 50 bucks. Essentially, you still only have $50 left, don't you? You're going you're gonna to owe that money at some point. That's the equivalent statement here. So subtraction, it's like you're taking the money away just directly. Adding a negative, it's like you're still taking the money away. It's just like you're kind of adding on a debt to what you're going to owe. Does that make sense to you? Like a, it's kind of an analogy that, of how we can think of subtraction and adding a negative as the same thing. They are the same thing. The other case, subtracting a negative number, that's like me going up to you and taking away your debt. So I think I said this last time as well, but let's say that you had a certain amount of money and you owed someone else like $10. Let's say you have $100 and you owe someone $10, okay? And I come up to you and I say, hey, I just paid that person the $10 that you owe them. It's kind of like I just gave you 10 bucks, isn't it? Kind of like I gave you 10 bucks. So I 